Today I have a rare and unusual specimen to share with you. This is a fairly recent addition to my collection. It is an Electrolux model CA commercial automatic vacuum cleaner. This is the first vacuum cleaner made by Electrolux expressly for commercial use. Uh, it was made from 1962 through 1965-ish um, during the run of the Model G, the same color canister machine that I think was one of the finest cleaners Electrolux ever put out. Uh, and Electrolux had been in the United States since 1924, and the whole time they had sold some of their machines into commercial use, uh, they were very commonly seen in, in commercial applications. But there existed, uh, or Electrolux engineers perceived of the need uh, for a beefed up more commercial machine and this was what they came up with uh, they didn't sell very many of these and of course any commercial vacuum cleaner the majority of them were beat to hell and thrown away a long time ago so to find one at all is pretty unusual to find one this nice is quite extraordinary this machine is mostly original the hose is not original it's a 1980s replacement I think 1980s, I'm speculating. Uh, it is extra long. This will be the hose off of a model CB2000. Uh, the cord is original, that external cord which runs the power brush. The power nozzle is a PN1, just like the one that came with the uh, Model G Electrolux. It is different from the one that came with the Model G Electrolux in that it does not have an integral wand. It has a two-piece chrome wand, and each wand has a locking tab at the top. One of my wands has the little vinyl cover. One of them does not. Uh, and another thing that makes this power nozzle different is the small metal elbow. The PN ones that had a smaller elbow, a little bit later design, uh, had a plastic elbow, not a metal one. So this was a commercial only feature. Underneath this does have the original triple row brush roll. I believe this wasn't just a CA feature. I think this was either an option or it was standard at one point on PN ones. Uh, the bristles are somewhat worn down, but what are you going to do? The cord uh, you see here is not original. This is the original cord, which is open circuit. So I found one that's the same, same kind of thing, but it's different color. Uh, let's see. What else is in our bag of goodies here? The extra wide floor brush. All natural bristles, 16 inches wide. The famous Electrolux floor and carpet tool. In gently used, but very nice shape. And this one is uh, old enough that it still has the gleaner that's switchable from off to on and reveals the the tines or just the straight metal bar. Crevice tool. Two dusting brushes. Uh, one that's original and not in too bad a shape and then one that's not original and in only slightly less used condition and uh, you can picture the Electrolux man showing up and selling a new hose and and then this thing at about the same time. This machine is serial number 1677 and it's rated at 700 watts. This is a fairly early CA from the run. Later machines were 535 watts. So I speculate that they had issues with the 700 watt motor and they went back to the 535 watt motor, which was shared by the domestic Electroluxes of the time. This is the exhaust filter. You just release that. This is a fiberglass pad. 
and then the motor is in here and there is a little lower port so this oh yeah okay yeah let's see how that works you cover that up and you can plug the hose into the blower or you whoops that's not how that goes there all right so then there's your blower port it's all on a cart it's got stationary wheels at the back swivel casters at the front nice rubber tires it's got an original cord with a special grounded plug it says e locks on the plug apparently there was a uh, special three-prong to two-prong adapter that also said e locks on it that I sadly do not have. I also don't have the optional and extremely rare wet pickup kit that was available with this machine. And uh, I'm not really sure how that works, but let's, let's move on for now. Here is the control panel with the power switch. Your automatic uh, indicator, your advanced and retard control. Back when the word retard was didn't have the connotations that it has today, so it was it was just a word. Uh, and the power nozzle receptacle. Inside, if you open up this big latch. And flip this big lid you can see it's just a giant version of an Electrolux canister there's the lid with the little bag lockout switch and this is where uh, the sensor connects uh, oh no that's this this is uh, this is just blocking off because you can see this bag can go in either way and whichever side is not connected to the sensor just has to be closed off. So that's the reason for that other little rubber grommet. Disposable four-ply paper bag. And a cloth bag with a note that says, use only with paper bag. So this was only supposed to support the paper bag. It was not supposed to actually hold any dirt by itself. And it is kind of a kind of a light canvas material. It's you can see it doesn't do much filtering on its own. And inside, just a big huge version of the standard Electrolux bag cage. And along with this machine, which was on Facebook Marketplace, came two boxes of bags. There's like eight or nine bags in each one of these boxes. And an unused turbo rug washer. So the story told to me by the young lady who was selling this machine is that this was her in-law's house and uh, that this vacuum was in. And the in-laws owned a funeral home in the city of Chicago. And uh, presumably this was purchased for the funeral home and used quite gently, probably by the, the wife herself or the owner. Didn't have to be the wife. Uh, and then at some point when the place closed, they brought it home. Who knows how much they actually used it at home. It is rather big for regular size rooms. But this was just never used. Maybe this was... Uh, Sold with the idea that they could keep their own carpets clean in the funeral home, and that just didn't happen. Pretty neat. Love that fleur de lis they put on here. And the old style Electrolux logo before they went to the 
it's not a diamond shape. The logo that, well, it's like this in a, what am I saying? You all know what the Electrolux logo looks like. Oh, it's that. I always like this logo, but the old one is cool. That's on those jars. Well, anyway, uh, not very many of these were sold. Uh, the latest one that I've come across pictures of has a serial number of 7706. And this one is serial number 16 something, I think. So, yeah, they built less than 10,000 of these, I'm certain. Uh, part of the reason they were not all that popular was uh, my understanding is they had a price of $549 in the early 1960s, which is the equivalent of over $4,000 in today's money. Now, a regular Electrolux canister would be over $1,000. Uh, and that was, I mean, that was a lot of money. Uh, it would be over $1,000 in today's money, rather. I think they were between $1 and $200 at that point. But this thing, I mean... You'd have a hard time finding people who could afford one of these. But these people not only bought one, but they took exceedingly good care of it. And bless them for that, because as you'll hear, it sounds and runs beautifully. <laughs> Until now, I don't think I had ever known what one of these sounded like. It is turbine driven, but it is, uh, the gearing is reduced down. So it's not a high, well, it's a high speed turbine, but the brush itself is not going to run at a very high speed. So anyway, 
Here's today's rare cool find, the Electrolux Model CA.